So welcome to Dommy Tries This. Yes, we're filming the garden stuff a little early, but we have moved things around. Um, we're up against the sidewalk again, and we have a few things going on, and I wanted to kind of show you that. Um, so let's get started. As you can see, I put our squash over by our door, and one reason to do that is... Um, they didn't seem to be doing so well being out in the sun all the time. And now they get a little shade in addition to their sunshine earlier in the day. And they are looking a little better mostly. Um, we are getting still getting nothing but male flowers on the ones that are blooming. Our zucchini seems to be having the worst trouble with something eating leaves and stuff like that. But again, male flowers, they're still looking pretty good. For the most part, the leaves look pretty ragged, but they're looking pretty good otherwise. Um, the sweet dumpling and the honey nut. The honey nut is growing. You can see it has another visitor there. Um, the sweet dumpling, the bottom of it is just, I don't know, I don't know what happened there. Looking like shit, but the upper part is looking good and still going. You'll have to pardon, we have somebody doing some kind of work on their home, I guess, uh, behind us. And um, also, we'll be going by the uh, air conditioner, so... Um, the butternut looks amazing. It's not very tall yet but she do do one looking pretty good and I think she might be trying to come up with her first bud right there. not finding I'm not sure if I have the right kind of ladybugs on here because um, the leaves are getting so eaten up and I do find eggs on the bottoms of the leaves but I am not seeing any of the creatures who actually lay the eggs so I'm hoping, since I'm catching the eggs and I'm scraping them off, I'm kind of hoping the ladybugs are taking care of the actual egg layers at some point. And that's why I'm not seeing as much as, as I saw last year. Last year they were covered in uh, borers. So. Anyway, let's take a look at our peppers. As you can see, the hob is starting to get a little bushy again. Just a little bit. And... Its peppers are still growing nicely. And most of the other peppers, they're tall and green, and some of them have flowers and some of them don't. And they're about the same state. I'm watching uh, for new peppers. It looks like our pasilla is about to give us some flowers. So hopefully that'll be happening soon. And our other hob has given us some flowers. And we've got our first orange hob pepper coming in right there. That's nice. These are some bells that are haven't flowered yet, but there we've got buds coming in right there. And we've got one that has flowered. This is a purple bell. These are, they're smaller bell peppers, but they are very, very purple when they're, when they're uh, ready to be taken off. This is our Anaheims. Actually, this one is our red Cubanelle. Our Anaheim didn't come up this year. That's starting to bud. And another red cubanelle, also starting to bud. And our dragon claw, the flowers aren't showing up yet, but I am starting to see some little buds. There we go. So we've got our first dragon claw flower starting to come in over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. <laughs> That's my husband. <laughs> He's the one that really wanted the dragon claw pepper, so that's for him, and hopefully we'll get enough that I can give him his dragon claws for him to make his Cubanos, and also so that I can have some seeds. 
And this one is, so this is more bells here, budding away, looking nice. I've got something like four boxes of bells, and this last one is bells too, so. So they're all looking good. There's another bell flower. Uh -huh. There we go, some bell flowers. And I'm sure one of these has that pepper we saw the last time I filmed, but as usual, I can't find it. And here are Kamatos. The Kamatos are starting to ripen. In fact, I think I can take those two off. So let's do our first harvest of the season and pull. Yeah, that came off nice and easy. That one practically fell in my hand. So we've got our first Kamatos. Those are mini Kamatos. I didn't mean to turn anything off. Kind of awkward holding the phone and a couple of Kamatos at the same time. There, put the Kamatos in something else for a while. Um, I'm not sure why the red cherries are not turning yet because look at the size of these things. These things are huge. They did not get this big last year. They're huge. This one looks like it might start to turn soon. This, this one right here that I'm tapping. There we go. So that's the red cherries and the kumatos. As you can see, these are the orange grapes. They're getting quite tall. They're next to my black cherries, which are the tallest in the garden. Wave, wave at the camera, honey. There, it's my husband. <laughs> um, they're getting almost as tall as the black cherries. Um, again, we've got a few things here, but they aren't ripening yet. We do have more flowers coming in down there. We have new ones coming in. They've been given a shake already. I've done all my other work for the garden. I've done all my uh, shaking and fertilizing and all that other stuff. So. Our black cherries, these are actually getting bigger than the black cherries I got last year too. I think these are about to turn color soon. They have that, I can't explain it. It's almost like that lightness at the bottom is an indication they are about to turn. So if you look at that, we'll see. We'll give it another few days. They should start really turning up very, very soon. I may need to give these guys some water tonight though. These are our honey delights that are as big this is a honey delight and right behind it you can see the black cherry and these are supposed to be mini tomatoes as well and they're as big as the black cherries so we've got a couple coming in and we've got a couple of flowers beautiful not producing as much as I hope but I think I've mentioned several times that this year has just been odd odd oh looky here what do we got here what is that you see it I don't know if he's a leaf eater or not I don't know if I should be worried um, we're not getting much on our I'm still trying to get the uh, tomatillos to husk so far I've not had much luck with that I'm doing everything like I did last year and the husks open and then they turn into that little husk right there, which my camera is refusing to focus on. Um, but yeah, they turn into that little, little guy right there. And once they're open like that, they won't develop fruit. So. And here's our romas. Our romas are also not being as prolific as they were last year. But at least we're getting some. Honestly, this year has just been strange. I think the, the three weeks of uh, cold weather at the beginning of the year and then not really having a spring and going practically straight into to summer just really did something to the growing season. Really did something to the growing season, I don't know. Alrighty, so 
that's it for today. Let's finish off on this beautiful bell flower. Hi. Hi, baby. Give that a little shake. And you all have a good day, and thank you for coming by. I hope we'll see you again soon. Bye.